three, four, and five. Uh, there's more people in the waiting room. Okay, so um, three, four, and five. Anyone need me to do number two? No. Anyone need me to do number four? Is it bar chart? No. Right. And does anyone need me to do number five, which was a bar chart again? The Royal Okay, Birdie. Okay. Right. Okay. And today I go straight on to pie chart, so. Right. Okay. So today I'm going to talk about pie charts. Okay. So you all know what a. Yeah. You all know what a pie chart looks like. So just to flash one up, just so you know what you're talking about. Right. A pie chart. Okay. Pie charts very visual, right? Okay, they uh, straight away you can see what's the mode, what's most popular, etc. Okay, so pie charts, girls, right? Um, the size of each slice or sector. So slice is just to tell you what it is. The proper word is sector. So like a pizza slice is actually a sector of a circle. So is in proportion, right? is in proportion to the side of the angle at the center of the circle okay and i'll just explain what that means when you put written down okay and remember a full circle is 360 degrees Okay, so I just drew a pie chart here, right, okay, just to tell you, 180 degrees, 180 degrees is half of 360, isn't it? So if you put it over 360, remember the full circle is 360, and if you look, all the angles, 180, 90, 30, and 60, all add to 360. So a full circle is 360 degrees, so this 180 out of 360 is a half. So this represents half the circle, okay? This is 90 degrees, 90 out of 360. We'll cancel down to a quarter. So that sector there is a quarter of the circle, okay? This is 30 degrees, so 30 out of 360. That cancels down to 1 twelfth. So this one here is 1 twelfth of the circle. And the last one is 60 degrees, 60 out of 360 is 1 of the circle. So if it represents, if it's half the circle, that's half the population. So we'll be surveying people and representing the results on a pie chart. So if I asked you, what's your favorite color? And half of you said it was pink, right? Okay, then that would be represented by 180 degrees. Okay, right. So um, I'm going to go straight onto an example. Okay, so example guys, you could be given a pie chart and asked for the numbers as in how many does this represent or you could give, be given the numbers and asked to draw the pie chart, okay? So I'm going to start with, here's a pie chart, right, okay. Tell me the numbers. So 120 first year girls were asked what um, sport they liked or they played and how many liked each sport. How many were asked what sport they liked. Okay, so sorry, it got a bit faded there. That says netball, that says basketball, that says tennis, this is hockey. Right, okay, and I left out a bit there and I'm, oh no, do you know that? is not there, that line there is not there. So it's just athletics and hockey, right? Okay, so.
So, should I have 40, 19, see? No, there was one in there, and that's 30. Sorry, and I'll give me another sport, soccer. Sorry, I wrote it down wrong. So 45 and 45 makes 90. 90 and 90 makes 180 and 180. Yeah, okay, it's right, yeah. Okay, right, so this says 90, this says 60, this is 45, this is 120, this is 30, and this is 45. Okay, so it was the whole circle represents 120 girls. Okay. So I want to know how many like tennis to start with. I want to do each sport. So what you do is there's 90 degrees that represents tennis. Out of a total of 360 degrees. So that's the fraction who like tennis. So you get the angle, put it over the total angle which is 360 degrees. And then that's your fraction. You don't have to cancel it down. You have to get that fraction of 120. So that for of means you multiply. So into the calculator, you put 90 over 360 multiplied by uh, 120, and that would be 30 students. Okay, so 30 girls like tennis. Is that okay? Right, then to figure out how many like netball. You take 60 degrees out of a total of 360 degrees. That's your fraction. You get that of 160 or of 120. So that means multiply by 120 and that means 20 girls like netball. Okay, so make sure you put, um, you put um, degrees over degrees. In a minute we'll be putting numbers over numbers okay but this is degrees over 360 so put the degrees over the 360 okay so um moving on to basketball right the it's 45 degrees for basketball so it's 45 out of 360 multiplied by 120 so that would be one fifteen girls. Okay. Is that all right? Next I'm moving on to athletics. So athletics is hundred and twenty degrees out of three hundred sixty, so that's your fraction. Your fraction of the total number of girls which was 120 girls so that would be into the calculator with that that would be 40 girls okay next is soccer and soccer is 30 degrees so 30 out of 360 multiplied by so that's a fraction of the total number of girls. So the total number of girls was 120. So that would be 10 girls. Okay, and finally I have hockey. And hockey was 45 degrees out of 360. So that of the total number of girls, which is multiplied by 120, so that would be 15 girls again. Right? Okay, girls. And you can check your answer, because do 30 and 20 make 50, 65, 105, 100 and, um, oh, I have too many, have I? 30, 50, 65, 105, 115 and 15 makes 130. I've done something wrong. What have I done wrong? There's something wrong somewhere, girls, because it adds up to 100. Oh, no, it is 120. It's right. 65, 105, 115. No, it adds up to 130, doesn't it? And this, your athletic should be 90 degrees, not 120 degrees. Okay. Yeah. So, sorry, that should be 90. So that 
that would be a quarter, which would be 30 girls. Hopefully I'm right now. Okay, yeah. Do you see the way though, I, could feel, I figured out straight away I'd done something wrong because I added up all the totals. And when I added up all the totals, they should have added to 120. But I knew I'd do something wrong because they, they added to 130. Okay, so you can check your answer when you're finished. Okay, is that alright, that example? I take that as a yes. Right, and it's down. Okay, so the next example, guys, is we're actually going to draw a pie chart. Okay, so this time, instead of giving me the pie chart and asking me for the numbers, they've given me the numbers and asked me for the pie chart. Okay, so here are the numbers. Okay, 72 people were surveyed. They were asked what type of heating they had. Did they have oil, gas, electricity or solid fuel? So 30 people said they had oil, 24 people said they had gas, 12 people said they had electricity, 6 people said they had solid fuel. Okay, so you want to draw a pie chart so you have to figure out what angle to represent each person of. So for the oil girls, sorry I'll get a better pen now than that because that's not good. Right, so for the oil, to figure out what angle, you know 30 people had oil. So 30 people out of 72 people. Okay, so you put the number of people over the number of people. In the last one, we'll put the angle over 360. Right, here you put the number of people over the total number of people. Right, and then you multiply it by 360 to find the size of the angle you need. Okay, so uh, phew, someone might do the. Uh, here, I get out the calculator. Um, 150 degrees, I'm thinking. 150 degrees. Okay. So that's the size of the angle for oil when I come to draw my bar chart or my pie chart. Next is gas. So gas girls is 24. So 24 people like our head gas. Out of 72, right? So, and then you multiply it by 360 to find out the angle. So 24 over, that's one third, that's 120 degrees. Okay, right? Next one is um, electricity. Sorry. Next one is electricity. So 12 people liked electricity. Out of a total of 72 people, so make, make sure you put people over people, as in numbers of people over number of people. And you multiply it by 360 and into the calculator with that you get 60 degrees. Okay. And finally, solid fuel. Is 6 people out of um, 72. Right, multiply by 360, which turns out to be 30 degrees. Okay, so then a quick check, do all your angles add up to 360. So 150, that's 270, 330, 360, so yes they do. Okay, so they all add to, um, it does add up to um, 360 degrees, so you know you're right. Okay, so then... I'm going to have to draw my um, pie chart on a page now, birds, because I don't have equipment to draw with the marker, okay? So, to draw your, you get your compass and you draw your circle length, okay? So, I'm just going to put this, if I can, over to the side here. So, I have my angles there, right? Okay, so here's my circle here, right? So, you draw your circle and mark your center, right? Okay? So draw the circle, mark the center. 
right? And then draw one line. So one radii I out to the edge, right? Okay. So then you get your protractor. And when you're drawing your uh, pie chart birds, it's important that you, you measure it, okay? In the exam situation, the people correcting actually have their protractors and they measure. So you get your protractor. I want to start here and I want to draw 150 degrees. So if I'm starting on the line, the line is here, so naught, so naught is on the inside uh, scale. So I'm going inside all the way around to 150. Sorry, all the way around to 150 degrees, which is there, okay? So put a little dot, remove it, and draw in your line. And don't forget to label it 150 degrees and this represents oil. Okay? Is that all right? So then, you turn, you get your protractor. I want to do 120 degrees for gas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the page. Right? Okay. And this is my starting point here, this line here. Right? So again, I'm on the, um, sorry, that doesn't help me at all. So again, I'm on this, inside scale because my starting line is here so I'm starting at zero so I'll go all the way around to 120 so 120 would be there so a little mark right remove it and connect it up okay so I'll only go to the edge of the circle okay and this is gas and this is 120 degrees okay then I move it around again. My next one is electricity, and I want to do 60 degrees. So again, this is my starting point. Again, it's on the, so again, it's on the uh, inside scale. So I go all the way around to 60, and 60 is there, right? So then I move, and I connect it up. So that's, 60 degrees and that represents electricity right and finally guys just to check then the last one should measure 30 so I measure it there and god I'm good it actually does right okay so that represents that's 30 degrees and that re represents solid fuel okay so there's your pie chart okay have you drawn pie charts before? I think you have, have you? In first year? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. 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 So we're just revising them. So, right. Okay. So, um, homework then, guys, please. Um, I'm going to give you, um, page, um, Uh, 304 to 305 and we're going to do numbers 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay, so page 304 to 305, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Right, okay, so when you go home or down you can head off and get it started. Okay, right and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye now, guys. Bye.